What's good, y'all? It's Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out uh, Triple H receiving backlash. Cody ended up losing a tooth uh, during the Royal Rumble match. Brock Lesnar uh, was replaced um, as we ended up seeing. The question is, what position? I know some people were saying Pat McAfee replaced Brock Lesnar. I heard other people were saying Braun Breaker replaced Brock Lesnar and other Royal Rumble related wrestling news. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. We're going to check this out by WrestleMania. What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Triple H gets backlash after addressing the Vince McMahon scandal, Cody Rhodes addresses the lawsuit and puts Triple H to shame, Cody lost a tooth last night, Roman Reigns vs The Rock still on, Brock Lesnar was replaced, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification mm, bell for daily wrestling Roman videos Reigns and follow and us Rock? on Facebook How? for exclusive lists. Also they... check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at Triple H backlash after addressing Vince McMahon's scandal. Our top story today examines last night's Royal Rumble press conference, in particular Triple H's controversial comments when it came to his father-in-law Vince McMahon. It was inevitable that a journalist at the Royal Rumble press conference would ask the head of creative mm -hmm. about the McMahon lawsuit, and John Elba would ask the game if he had prior knowledge of McMahon's conduct uh, as yep. disclosed in the lawsuit. But Triple H would answer by saying, I'm going to do exactly what you expect me to do here. Look, we just had an amazing week, a 10-year, $5 billion Netflix deal, Rock joining our board. We just sold out the Royal Rumble, put 48,000 people in Tropicana Field. I chose to focus on the positive. Yes, there's a negative, but I want to focus on that and just keep it to that. Triple H was then asked the question of what's being done to make sure people in positions of power can't take advantage of employees, and similarly to his prior answer, the game had very little to say. I'll give you the most generalized answer I can everything possible. That is a very important thing to us, a very important topic to us. It's as simple as everything possible. Although it was apparent that Triple H wasn't going to say anything about the lawsuit, Brandon Thurston would ask the game if he had actually read the lawsuit document and in a worrying answer, Triple H stated he did not. I did not. I did not. I think Cody mentioned it, that we all found out real time when you were there, and that's the truth. I'll go back to what I said before. This is an amazing week to us. I just, at this point, I don't even want to get bogged down in the negatives of it. I want to focus on the positives and where we're going, and we're at the most exciting time of the year for us. We're at the most exciting point, to me business-wise, I think that we've ever had. Triple H then added, I think it's the best positioning of this company since the Attitude Era. I've been through the era. I understand what it's like. I feel like we're in the middle of something that, while we may not be able to put our finger on it right now, 5-10 years from now on, we're going to be saying, wow, what a time that was. I want to focus on that. And naturally, Triple H's lack of concrete answers had led to much criticism. Even Dave Meltzer had a good take on this. Your father-in-law was just accused of sex trafficking and rape. Everyone knows how much I personally like Paul, but this was bad. The most powerful man in the history of the business was just removed in disgrace. This was really bad. Now, there is indeed the possibility that the head of creative is unable to address the case from a legal perspective, yeah. yet some fans believe that the game should have simply condemned the allegations stated in the lawsuit document and then just moved on. However, Triple H looked like he was avoiding the question more than addressing it. Yeah. Cody Rhodes also addressed the lawsuit. Which is crazy because they, Cody Rhodes came on first and they asked him and he had kind of a better response from what I'm hearing um, that Triple H had, um, which is crazy that they would ask Cody that. But nevertheless, it could be a, a, a multitude of things. It could be the fact that maybe he couldn't really talk about it like from a legal standpoint because there's a lot going on um so that could have been an issue or a situation i know for a fact he was trying to focus on obviously the positives of what's been going on in wwe they just had a, a pretty successful in a sense of like like people being at the venue forty eight thousand people for that royal rumble selling out that uh, uh that event um, so, you know, they, in their eyes, they had a pretty successful week, pretty successful Royal Rumble, and he kind of wanted to focus on that. So I get it. Granted, if I want to be honest, is there a better way he probably could have responded to that? You know? Yes. You know, without even saying, without even going into detail whether he believes it or not, you know, the allegations that he, you know, 
that he found out or whatever the case may have been, he could have been could have addressed it in a way where he's not giving too much detail if he knew or anything like that, but just, you know, kind of condemning what is being said in or what is uh, being rumored to have happened or whatnot. So he could have probably did that better. And I'm still one of those people. I'm willing to bet he had some idea. He may not have known the exact nature of what Vince was doing, but I'm willing to bet he had some notion in his head Vince was probably doing something that he shouldn't have been doing. Even if it's not that particular situation, he's probably seen some stuff where it's like, yo, Vince is wilding, but shit, I'm trying to get into his good graces. I'm trying to be able to make some moves myself. So, and once again, I think around the time that this that this young lady was, you know, dealing with what she was dealing with with Vince, around that time, he was dealing with heart uh, heart problems. So even if he knew some situations in the past, he was more so focused on his heart, like his physical well-being more than anything else. So it's one of those things I'm sure he may have known a little bit of what was going on, but didn't have the, the greatest details. And once again, he was literally worried about his heart. <laughs> he wasn't really focused on other stuff other than his health and well-being. I can, I'm pretty sure. So, And he put Triple H to shame. As a 2024 Royal Rumble winner, Cody Rhodes was asked by Nick Houseman about the allegations, and unlike Triple H, Rhodes had an appropriate and respectful answer. Yeah. I know as far as the news is concerned, we were finding out and reading the same things that you guys were reading. And you said a dark cloud, certainly. As far as TKO, Nick Khan and the board, they clearly took it very seriously, mm -hmm. acted immediately. Looking at the future, I don't know the answer to that, and I think somewhere is really basic tenant of just this crew more than ever from a roster standpoint is very family. He continued mm -hmm. on by saying, I've never seen anything like this. Most of the time wrestling locker rooms are fighting, talking trash about each other, making mm -hmm. fun of each other, sandbagging each other in the ring, all that nonsense. This crew is very team based and perhaps that's the ingredient. Everyone is looking out for everyone, being accountable. I know for me as a performer, as a competitor, I've been through dark periods of our industry before and it might sound cheesy, but it's very reinforcing if you're in my position that, that it's a time when you say, hey, we got 50,000 people out there. I want to give them something else. That isn't a terrible situation, terrible news. And I think we were able to do that. Obviously, as more news comes out, we'll be seeing it just as you do. Next up, Cody Rhodes. And, and that was a real good response. He, he knocked that out the park. That was a good response because he addressed it. He also condemned it. He also bigged up the roster like we're a family. We're, we're more family oriented than we've ever been in the business. And we have each other's back that Triple H could have somewhat did that a little bit. I don't know. Like I said, we don't know why, but, you know, he didn't really address it, address it. But Cody did his thing. This is why they he's pretty much one of the faces of the company, if not damn near the outside of Roman Reigns is Cody Rhodes, bro. And this is why. Because he's able to, you know, talk to people in a way where they feel comfortable and, and believable. Rhodes loses a tooth. I did see now, Speaking of the American Nightmare, it looks like he lost a tooth in the annual Rumble match last night. A fan on Twitter noticed that Rhodes' tooth went flying as he was hit by a claymore by Drew McIntyre. Outside of the missing tooth, Rhodes seemed absolutely fine and it's unlikely he'll miss any time away from WWE programming. Sheesh. Next up, Triple H throws shade at Forbidden Door. My man missed a tooth, but still won the Royal Rumble. So, hey, Roman, we coming for you. Missing tooth and all. One of the more exciting elements of the Rumble last night was the inclusion of TNA star Jordan Grace. Yeah. TNA was name dropped several times throughout the broadcast last night, mm -hmm. and it's great to see WWE involving TNA in a major match as it benefits both companies in the long run. Triple H would reference Grace's involvement in the Women's Rumble during the post-show press conference, and the game stated that he's not a fan of the cliched terms about what door people go through. Mm -hmm. It's exciting just to be able to branch out. I'm not going to use the, all the cliched terms about what door people go through or anything like that because <laughs> it's stupid and silly. Although Triple H's attack on the Forbidden Door term seems random out of nowhere, <laughs> fans are hoping that the partnership between WWE and TNA continues. And fans are already throwing out the idea of seeing WWE contracted TNA legends appearing at special shows. Names such as AJ Styles, mm -hmm. Abyss, and Bobby Roode are all under WWE contract, so it'll be epic to see one or more of their names appear in the promotion where they became household names. Yeah, Next nah, up that is could be dope. That could be dope. Uh, I, obviously, <laughs> you know, the, the AEW diehard fans did not like that comment. And some of them had their fair... A fair, um, fair choice of words for Triple H's comments. 
I wouldn't have taken that that serious, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, that's how he views it. Feels like it's a silly thing to say, like, hey, man, we're cross-promoting, you know, which is cool to see. that They've done it before in the past, but th it's cool to see them really dive into that with TNA, and I, I think that's an awesome thing, and it'll be awesome to see how things, you know, you know, what other collaborations TNA and WWE does in the future. Roman Reigns vs. The Rock off the table now. The heavy favorite heading into the Rumble last night was CM Punk. However, with Cody Rhodes... That's what I, my last video was just talking about. How all of a sudden everyone thought Cody was going to win after he won. Some of y'all may have believed that, but most of y'all, including myself, including a lot of people, thought it was going to be CM Punk the heavily favorite or Gunther. Stop the cap. Stop lying, y'all. Some of y'all may have been spot on with Cody winning back to back. But they hadn't done that in so many years, and I did not expect them to do that last night. Well, I'm not filming this. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Monday morning, but I, I was not expecting that. So, I'm just saying. Rhodes winning the matchup. This guaranteed that Rhodes will be in a world title match at WrestleMania 40. Based on how WWE presented Rhodes' victory on the show itself, it was heavily implied that Rhodes vs. Roman Reigns Part 2 is now set for WrestleMania, which obviously means that Rock vs. Reigns isn't planned, at least for this year's spectacle. However, Dave Meltzer okay mentioned with. that the plan is still for The Rock to face Roman Reigns. Yes. The Roman and Dwayne match is still happening. I just don't know where. And Brian, you probably know where because you probably know discussions. I may know too, and I can't talk about them. But anyway, the point is, it's still happening. Yeah, it's going to happen. As for Punk, it's still likely that he'll face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 40. With Rollins being on the shelf currently, it makes a ton of sense to have Punk chase the world title opportunity. Then the feud and rivalry between the two enemies can take full shape when Rollins is available for weekly TV. Mm -hmm. Next up, Triple H is high on Nia Jax. Mm. And since returning to WWE last year, Nia Jax has been presented incredibly well on TV. WWE have utilized their strengths and for the most part, Jax has had great matches across TV and PLEs. Triple H acknowledged how high he and WWE are on the former women's champion last night on the post-show Rumble press conference. As the game stated that Jax had a fantastic performance in the Rumble match and she's winning people over. Also during the press conference, Triple H had endless praise for the women's Rumble winner yes. Bailey. He would refer to Bailey as constant and one of the all-time best. As things stands, if reports are to be believed, Bailey will challenge Io Sky yes. at WrestleMania 40 for the women's title. And finally, Brock Lesnar replaced. Our as final story today takes a look at a potential NXT call-up. As last night during the men's Rumble match, Braun Breaker had a standout performance. Yes, he, did. he went on a rampage in the match itself and he eliminated names including Omos and Finn Balor. Now it seems that this spot was intended for Brock Lesnar, mm. as it was reports that he would be returning and entering the Royal Rumble. According to the Wrestling Observer Radio, Braun Breaker replaced him. Now Breaker was eliminated by Dominic Mysterio, so was the initial plan Dom eliminating Brock? That would have been huge. Mm. But during a backstage yeah, interview following his appearance, Breaker stated that the main roster is now his home and he has unfinished business with the Judgment Day. Ooh. I feel grateful right now. What an opportunity tonight was to make a statement and I thought I did that tonight 100%. Things didn't go my way, but I'm not done with the Judgment Day by any means. Tonight I proved I belong on the main roster. This is my home now and I'm ready for the work. Yes. I'm ready to prove to my peers and to everyone there who believes in me that this is where I belong yes. and what I was born to do. Judgment Day's got it coming, yes. I promise you. They have it, folks. Hey, the wildest news story. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. If that's the feud they're going to start going with, him feuding with the Judgment Day, even though I prefer him as this dominant, destructive heel as he's been portrayed lately in NXT, him going against the Judgment Day instantly going to make him a baby face. Now, unless they keep him tweener-ish, but people love to hate Dominant. Ah, oh, this, if that's what they're doing, I'm here for it. I am here for it. They, they have something. So we'll see if, when that does, you know, happen. But I'm here for it, man. Braun Breaker was the highlight of the Men's Royal Rumble, in my opinion. He was impactful. He was just destroying people. And even the crowd got alive when he got out there you could hear them doing a woo 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 bro he was killing people and i loved every second of it so it's gonna be very interesting to see how that play out but comment down below let me know man uh which part of the uh 
this particular video like the news reports um but comment down below let me know some other videos you guys want me to check out but i appreciate all the love and support you guys on our channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speeded youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping me in the nation